Ladies and gentlemen, finally we are here. But recall that in the course of presentation of results by the state coalition officers for the presidential election, a number of issues were raised by party agents. And we said we'll come back to these issues before we conclude the process. I wish to remind us that we are here essentially to conclude the collation of the results of the presidential election. Some of the party agents have made submissions that the commission needs to study the submissions and respond accordingly. Some of the state coalition officers for the presidential election have also made detailed submissions explaining what happened during the conduct of the elections on Saturday, the 23rd of February, and in some cases, the re elections repeated in places where elections couldn't hold on Sunday, the 24th. We are studying these documents as well. But I think in relation to the issues raised, there are specifically three of them that the Commission wishes to make some preliminary statements on. We said preliminary statements because during collation, we haven't had all the time in the world to look at these issues in depth. The first one is that the figures of accredited voters in relation to the votes cast were not adding up in one or two instances. We have noticed that and our preliminary investigation and analysis reveals that there are a number of figures that were coming from the field and we were adding up, and the states were also adding up, from 176,000 locations nationwide as polling units and voting points. From there, the figures were added up first at the ward level, for which we have 8,809 nationwide. From there to the local governments, of which we have 700 and 74, and then the state declaration or collation centers and the FCT, making a total of 37 before coming up to Abuja. From what we have seen, the disparity cumulatively is actually less than 2%. So it's not that substantial, really. Um, Secondly, we also very strongly, very strongly believe that the widespread incidence of ballot box snatching, particularly in many areas after voting, means that you have data on the smart card reader, but not backed up by actual ballots, because the ballots were either hijacked, burnt down, or destroyed, and therefore, the information on the car reader is likely to be higher than the actual ballot, meaning the votes cast. But this is only by way of preliminary investigation. Yes, we believe that there have been cancellations. However, in the case of the presidential election, the cancellations do not affect the conclusion of the process. On the number of registered voters, via the, via the figures released by the Commission, yes, we noticed that only in two states, Yobe and Akwaibo, that the figures actually tallied. But if you look at all the reports from all the state collection officers, 
they referred to the total, of, total number of registered voters as collated. It is always written in bracket, as collated, not necessarily the total figures on the VR, the voter register that we give um, to the states. So, because as I said, they are taken from a process, and that process keeps going from one stage to another, um, sometimes discrepancies of this nature are likely to happen. They happened in all the off-season elections we have conducted, we have seen them, but on the basis of the observations that we have made, we will look at these figures very carefully. They don't affect the total number of persons who voted in the election. They are well below the number of PVCs collected. In fact, the voter turnout for the 2019 general elections, from the analysis we have just concluded, is 35.66 percent. That the national um, voter turnout, the percentage of national voter turnout. Thirdly, a request was made about opening up the commission's back end so that information from the smart card reader, uh, particularly of accreditation of voters, can be used to uh, verify, cross-check, the actual votes cast in the election. And I'm happy to note that the person who made that comment didn't make the request, the comment and the request, as a matter of right under the law. Rather, he made the comments as a matter of openness and transparency. Since the law describes the processes by which results are collected and transmitted, and also the instruments called forms to be used for that purpose, we believe that this is a discussion that can continue after the elections, after the conclusion of this process, because it's not something that should necessarily truncate this process until we are able to determine those issues. Now, if we are to continue to discuss all these issues, we'll continue to discuss them ad infinitum. There is no end to all these issues and all these discussions. So we have taken note of all the observations made. We'll take them into consideration, but for the sake of the process today, I crave your indulgence to go to the main substance of why we are gathered here today. Nicholas of the PCP scored 110,196 votes. Abubakar Atiku of the PDP scored 11,262,900 and 78 votes. Ami Peter Ajonugwa, 394. Mogalu Kingsley Bosa Chedu of the YPP scored 21,886 votes. That Muhammad Buhari of the All Progressive Congress having satisfied the requirements of the law and scored the highest number of votes, is hereby declared winner and is returned elected. Thank you.